so Trump has to now pay. Uh, Trump is it came forward and said, "I cannot come up with the three hundred and forty million dollar bond." Oh, yeah. he actually said that. Oh, yeah, he came his out. His lawyers okay. filed a thing, and then he, I guess he wrote something crazy on True Social, like talking about it. Um, but oh, that's so weird. He wrote something crazy. So he grifted. So he grifted New York, New York State, and the federal government forever. Yes, like to where it was. And the, and Weiselberg knows where all the bodies are buried because Weiselberg is going to go to prison again for for perjury. So now we've got this guy who, whatever he has on Weisel, I still guys, you still have to face the fact that after all the shit that Trump has done, he, he went anti-Jew this week. He said that if you're Jewish and you vote for the Democrats, you're a bad Jew. You don't love your religion. You don't love your religion. He said. Uh, what else? I mean, it was something else he was talking to me, but he's so we've lost our way to the point where it's become normal to lose our way. Like nobody even sees it as abnormal yeah. anymore. This is this and is that's the fucked up part. There's been, you know, companies and other people, you know, like Enron, Bernie yep. Madoff, yep, yep. uh Boeing now. Anytime they do something shady, which they a lot of them do, it's a huge scandal. Right? right, their sco- stock prices go down. People boycott them. It's it's all over the news. Right. Trump does this in every industry, and he's been doing it for decades. Yeah, every Yet we, he's been getting away with it. We were talking about all the different crime he's gotten away with. He's he's basically sexually assaulted women. Yep. There's 26 women that came forward during the first election that said he assaulted them. There's that's that's so he's so sexual predator. We know that he's uh he's basically real estate fraud. Left and right. I found, I, I saw something this weekend. Do you know how he got Mar-a-Lago? So Mar-a-Lago was owned by the Postum family. Postum, I think they own Post Cereals. They they were they owned it for years. They had another house. They wanted, they wanted to throw parties. So they built Mar-a-Lago so they could have people over. It's got 58 bedrooms mm-hmm. and all kinds of stuff. So they so then the lady got old and she died. Um, so she they sold, put the house up for sale. The house, they wanted $20 million for Mar-a-Lago. Trump offered 15. They said no. So he went and bought the property in front of it for 2 million and said he was building a house on it that was going to block the view. He then got the Mar-a-Lago the, the Mar-a-Lago house for 5 million and 3 million for the furniture. Wow. So he's a motherfucker. What a fucking he's scummy a co- dirtbag. Well, you could say he's a good businessman too, but he's also it, it, Yeah, it, but it's at one point like <clears throat> it's like you he, fucked up someone else's stuff, yeah. Co- but he, that's his. That's the way he operates. Is f- absolutely fucking you. A mob boss, it, fuck it, you, yeah, completely. And he's been doing it since. You know, we've always talked about how he would stiff contractors mm-hmm. on the renovations or 1500 whatever. Fifteen hundred lawsuits. Yeah. Every t- that's how he did it. So it became like this running thing where, and he still bankrupt them. And yes, <laughs> he had he had so many people in Atlantic City he owed money to, and con- he still failed at business. Sm- he put so many small businesses out of business. Yeah. And then, well, there's 920. Then he got nine, so he wrote the casino off for 921 million. Then for the next 10 years, claimed that on his taxes. So he, yeah, oh, yeah. how? Whoa, whoa, whoa! You, you spread it. You can spread it out. You what? can spread your tax. Because remember, he so he had, more times. Yeah, he bankrupted. It, so he so that 921 they couldn't oh, take yeah. it off in one year. He spread it out over all the years. Yeah, if we try to write off these microphones, debt. what the fuck? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He did that. So, um, and his father, he they got busted too because his dad at one point he was having problems. His dad bought thirty two thousand dollars in chips. Yeah, from, bought the thirty thirty two million dollars in chips, and then walked. Did never gave him back. Sent his guy to buy all the chips when the casino was failing in Atlantic City, and the guy bought the chips and left the casino, and trying to save his son's failing casino, and then they got caught for it, and that's why he can't own a casino oh my god oh <laughs> that's why they couldn't. um uh, here, here's how so bad he- he's been melting down about this judgment oh, yeah. on yeah, true yeah, yeah. social and he's going through a lot of different uh things lots of and also lots of polls he's posting where he's beating biden by a lot uh, <laughs> uh he i mean he's been truthing <laughs> about this in all caps and long paragraphs a lot he did this long one where he said the outrageous judgment, he puts that in quotes, fails to recognize the complete victory last year on the statute of limitations. The, and then he goes on about the crooked judge and the racist and biased attorney general. And his whole premise is that it's outside this. Not I didn't do it. I'm innocent. Uh-huh. No, he did it. He yeah, knows yeah. he did it. I'm, it's outside the statute of limitations. 
That wait, he also said it's also a presidential. Wait, wait, what? Now he's also pushing the Eighth Amendment because uh, RBG, when she was on the Supreme Court, pushed uh, and the, the, you know, of course, it's a Newsmax article that says RBG could save Trump three hundred fifty-five million. But she delivered Supreme Court opinion in Thames versus Indiana in 2019 in which she laid out how the eighth amendment's prohibition on excessive fines applies to states as well as federal government. Although that case, I thought this was funny, had to do with a $42,000 life insurance policy and a, an SUV and a $10,000 fine. So he's pointing to that case with its excessive fine. Yeah. So, but his lawyer is kind of smart because they go, well, They're if, saying if, eight them if 45 grand plus 10 plus whatever is an excessive fine, mm -hmm. what is 340 million? That's got to mm -hmm. be, that, that looks really excessive then, doesn't it? He's posting <laughs> sub stacks where people are thanking him for returning the Republican Party to the people. He's posting Breitbart surveys that only half, <laughs> one half of all New Yorkers plan to stay in Democrat city. And yet you can't get an apartment. <laughs> no, no, no. Right this table, apartment the size of this table. Yeah. Three grand. Republican <laughs> bill. Exactly. He posted an article that Republican billionaires are rallying around him for a fundraiser. Oh, this. Oh, okay. there was a clip of him saying anything, please. Any, even $10. Here's if you could no, chip in. Here's the news from yesterday. So Biden, Biden and Harris have actually raised 140 something million dollars this last month for their election campaign. Trump is barely raised oh, yeah. 40. They uh, found that a lot of the small dollar donors stopped. have stopped. Good. Yeah. Yeah, because- We're the Koch brothers when you need them. Well, because he's like, he, well, because they realized they were paying for armor all to get his fucking plane uh, tires yeah. shiny. So yeah. that, that's where their money was going. <laughs> he called Millie a loser a few hours Again? ago. Again, General But he Millie. spelled it loser instead of looser. And Good we call day. that <laughs> there progress. You That's progress. There you go. <laughs> Finally, he said Mark Milley is a loser who shamed us in Afghanistan and elsewhere. He always has to. He always has to add words. Make it bigger. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Afghanistan. And elsewhere. 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 Also elsewhere. Exclamation point. And elsewhere. <laughs> he's posting lots of doctored pictures of himself where he looks about thirty years younger. Uh, he's spinning out of control. He posts. A lot. I'm never on this. You know, Trump is fucking oddly Twitter like when Kanye's site. like, yo, man, I can't, I can't <laughs> hang with that dude. I would never have a meeting with that dude again. When Kanye's like, nah. <laughs> what kind of, what kind of uh, elderly person is posting on social media all day long? All day long. Well, he knows that's where a lot of his voters go, and so uh, he's posting videos of Biden stuttering and miss saying words. Can where is Melania? I think she was. Where is she Kate left. Middleton? Where is Shelley Miscavige? And where is Melania? There's a plot. You know what? Oddly enough, you know, rich, it, 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 powerful you know to white men. Is that uh, women started asking where they were and those women also disappeared. So, oh. so you right this probably, way. Right this probably, way, ladies. Probably, where is Rachel Bradley? I'm fine. <laughs> Look at this beautiful lawn. It's freshly <laughs> sodded. This one section is really growing. Really? Yeah. Yeah, he's posting lots of. Um, pictures of himself with the graphic trump wins ohio trump wins illinois but he's a lot Mission younger accomplished. and trump hasn't run yet he's just calling them wins if someone that he liked got pushed won the primary oh so his primary guy won that's not what he says in this uh, graphic it says trump won because <laughs> even that guy's win is trump <laughs> it's like this is, if you saw this you, if, yeah. if Nana was doing this, on uh, you would fly across the country take her and away. take her to a hospital. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. he actually is now making the movie Idiocracy look like. Oh yeah, like you know you know Mike serious. Judge. Mike Judge for many years like, has been like I, did, I was not even thinking we were going to get here. I was 